The next pattern in the Simplifying Conditional Expressions series is called Replace Nested Conditional with Guard Clauses. The motivation here is that a method has a series of nested conditional statements that make the normal pattern of execution somewhat unclear. So we see down here in all of these else statements, eventually we get to this calculate normal amount, which should be the average case. And all of these non-average cases are sort of getting in the way of that, making it a little less readable. And so instead of having this series of nested conditionals, we can invert that and we can have these be guard clauses instead. A guard clause would be something that would return a value or otherwise exit the function before moving on to what the function is generally there to do. So one at a time we can replace these. Instead of saying that the result equals this, we could just return this, at which point this else becomes superfluous. Of course, with each one of these steps, it would be an opportune time to recompile and rerun all of our tests. But now we'll do the same thing with this one. And the else again becomes superfluous. Then we do the same thing with this one. And finally, we can see that this result variable it's really only doing one thing and isn't really needed in the first place. So we can return this. We never get to that statement. Now we never use this variable. And that's basically it for creating those guard clauses. Depending on personal preference, we might also collapse them like this. I think that's a little more readable. But again, that's just personal preference. But that's it for that pattern. Now another example we often see is that sometimes creating those guard clauses requires us to reverse the conditional. So you see here, if this is true and if this is true, then we calculate this result. And so essentially, if this is not true, then we're returning this default. So let's create those reversed guard clauses. The reverse of this conditional would be if capital is less than or equal to 0, .0. We return the result. So now this statement is superfluous. And now we want to reverse this conditional as well. If interest rate is less than or equal to 0, or duration is less than or equal to zero. So now this is superfluous. Again, we'd want to rerun all of our tests with each of these individual steps. And now this result isn't doing much here. We could return this, which means we never get to this statement. Now result is never modified, so we can use the constant value. Now result is never used, so we can get rid of it. And then code like this, we might want to further decompose this. We might want to extract this into its own method, just for consistency, maybe also extract this one. We should probably definitely extract this into its own method. Those aren't strictly part of this pattern, but certainly would make this code a little more readable, a little more prose-like. But that's it for replace nested conditional with guard clauses. Thanks for watching.